Today we're going to go from architectural PDF like this or this and convert it straight to structural framing plans without any programs, just your web browser and without any CAD software either. A lot easier process. Okay, I'm just going to add that PDF. It's a two page PDF, so I want the upper floor. Comes zoomed in automatically. Pick two points that I know the distance of. 6540. That just sets the scale. Draw an outline, pretty easy for this set of plans. This little pop out here is for the garage underneath. I'm going to add a void for the stair. And I'm going to add a level under. Again, it's the same file because it's a two page file. And this time I do want that one. And there you've got your upper and lower levels loaded, ready to go. Just click design. And there you've got a basic timber framing plan for the PDF that you had. So you could have a look around where it's putting columns and maybe adjust a few things. So that column's slightly in the window. It's probably not too far off. Um, that column's okay. That one's okay. That one's in a wall. These are all in the walls. Um, yeah, the garage door is clear. It's actually not bad without doing any adjustment. But you can adjust um, column locations. Let's move this little one here. So if I just reset the view and I just drag this column down a little bit, let's see what that does. Okay, now you've got the column out of the window. You've got a little bit of small framing there just to pick up the difference because that wall doesn't exactly line up. But that's the type of thing you can fix. Here's one column that we should get rid of though, and that's one in the kitchen bench. So to do that in this example, I would change the spans of the secondary direction. So all I do is change this to say six meters because I can see that that spans about five, almost six meters there. Okay, now you've got a clear span there, see? No columns in the kitchen area. Again, you might want to shift that slightly left this is a new design now but yeah you can quickly see a framing plan that works obviously it can be refined a bit later but you have your material volume you have your overall depth you've got some 290 by 45s there um, I could change the material to get that a smaller size um, I could change the span the other way to reduce that to a smaller size as well. And there's a lot of options you can play around with, but that's the basics. You can also print a design sheet, which shows all this other information, like what type of system it is, the maximum depth, the volumes of the different parts, sections through each way, um, B marks and stuff like that. You can download a CAD model in 3D 
and you can also print engineering drawings. So if you print that, it will come out as a PDF. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.